Hi, this evening, 100 years ago today in France, a select audience of Parisians watched the very first movie. It was a scene of workers leaving a factory, and it earned makers a place in history and a lot of cash. A lot has happened since then on this, the 100th anniversary of film. Tom Bogdanovich reports. No sex, no stars, no violence. But for the Lumiere brothers, this was a blockbuster, helping them earn 3 million francs in just five years. For the Lumiere's, it was a textbook case of getting it right. Just one day shooting, a camera that cost a few dollars, no competition, and a minimal budget. Of course, they weren't paying actors at that time. They were filming actualities, what we would now call documentary. Um, and when there were little skits, it was usually members of the family or servants who actually took part. So there were too many expenses in actually shooting the films. But already the movie tradition of boom or bust was being born. This magician turned film pioneer, Georges de Méliès, saw his career rise, and then as fashions changed, destruct. From Europe's first studio owner, Méliès was reduced to selling candy. Once the novelty of just the moving image wore off, um, people stopped going to see movies, and there was a dip um, around the turn of the century. Hollywood, with its long sunny days, took over as the centre of filmmaking. Success and failure became even more spectacular. D.W. Griffiths, The Birth of a Nation, had them queuing at the cinemas. His next film, Intolerance, cost two and a half million dollars in 1916. It was a box office flop and ruined Griffith financially. Executives can look back fondly on the early days when you could enter the film business with twenty dollars and the shot of a garden hose was a certain winner. Tom Bogdanovich, CNN Business News, London. That's all for this Wednesday, March 22nd edition of World Business Today. Thanks for joining us. I'm John Defterius.